All right, fifth graders, you have drawn out your tessellation shape across your paper, and you're working on sharpening each of those shapes. Now, as you're sharpening, you're thinking about those Zentangle designs that you've learned about and adding patterns to each of those fish. If your pattern is really complicated and small, kind of like this fish scale pattern, you might want to just jump to Sharpie right away. But be mindful that Sharpie does not erase. Okay, it's permanent, so if you make a mistake, you're going to have to embrace it. After you've sharpied, you're thinking about two elements of art, color and value. So as you're thinking about color, think about certain color families that you know about, whether they are primary or secondary, warm or cool, complementary. You want to organize those color families across your page. Okay? I also want you to think a little bit about value. You are going to be using colored pencils today. With your colored pencil um, bin, you are also going to get a sharpener and a cup. When I am sharpening, this is not a, a activity to do instead of working on my art. This is something that I'm using as a tool just to get my colored pencil sharp. So as soon as it's sharp, I put it to the side and I go back to work. Now I can add value a few ways. One of them is by coloring over the same spot, adding layers of that one color. So if I'm trying to make it darker here and lighter there, I'm going to add or color over this space more times than I'm going to color here. So going over that one area, adding layers of color. When I am coloring, I'm always coloring in the same direction. Do you notice here how my pencil lines are showing up? I'm always coloring to follow the shape or follow the line of my drawing. If I start coloring this way, and then that way, and then this way again, my craftsmanship isn't quite as good. And then I've got to work really hard to blend those lines together. If I need to change directions, I have to do it lightly and slowly so that they start to blend. Okay. Another way I can add color or value with my colored pencil is by adding pressure so I can press a little bit harder to add value. Be careful not to break your colored pencil but by pressing harder adding pressure you can create darker values. Lighter pressure for lighter values. Okay. The last way that you can add value is by layering different colors together. So this is a really dark violet or dark purple and this is kind of a medium purple. If I want to add value or create a darker purple, I might layer up this darker value on top of my lighter purple to make a darker value. So you are focusing on the elements of our line by sharpening all of your lines. You are focusing on the elements of our color by planning a color scheme for your tessellation. And you are thinking about the element of art value. How am I using my colored pencils either through layering, pressure, or different colors to create value?